This NFL mailbag presented by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash chat where you can save 20% off and get free shipping on the best male grooming yes. products. Tom's got that big smile on his face because he used the lawnmower 3.0 this morning. And it morning pays and off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can DM for picks. All right, no, burning spades, no. you're first up here, my dude. Thoughts on Atlanta getting Darnold or Jimmy G or Dalton as a quarterback, second in draft Wilson, Lance, or Fields to sit behind Ryan at least a year with eh. – Well, what, what's the purpose of getting Darnold or Jimmy G or say. Dalton to be your quarterback too and then draft someone and keep Matt Ryan? So, no. honestly, it's probably pick one. Like, if you're going Correct. after a Darnold or a Jimmy G, you're going to start them. You're not going to make them a backup quarterback. And on the second part, though, if you're drafting a Wilson or Lance or a field to sit behind Matt Ryan – I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. I, the Falcons are in a unique spot to take a future franchise quarterback in a draft class that looks better than what next year's looks like. For now, things can change, obviously. Take advantage of that spot being in the top five. You might not be there next year. Super Chat coming in from Zornell Malone. Raiders should trade their one and three for Leonard Williams. Is that Scott? I, I, think, I, I think you're right, L. Williams. He's a free agent. Yeah, Leonard Williams is a free way. agent. I'll say this, though. I would trade my first round pick, 17 overall, for Quentin Williams. Yeah, if every, you can't, if you can't get Leonard 16, Williams. There uh, are 15 other teams that, that would do that, too. Sure. I, I'll say also when you see how bad the Raiders have been in the first round. Jets say no. Yeah. Good try. All right, let's go to Dwayne Jackson. Why are the Cowboys using their figure, figuring out the salary cap excuse, not signing Dak yet? Because uh, the Cowboys are running out of excuses. Like it's it, it's that simple. Like they should just ban it. It's not that hard. Just just pay Dak. All right, let's go to Dale Webb Jr. Should the Raiders sign Allen Robinson or trade for JJ Watt? If I have to pick one, I'll actually just say Allen Robinson because I don't really want to have to trade for JJ mm -hmm. Watt. If uh, you can just say, hey, do we wait for JJ Watt to get what cut? What if they're both free sign? agents? I'll say JJ Watt. Okay. JJ yeah. Watt fits a bigger need, and okay. uh, what's his name? Gus Bradley's already come out and said that we're going to start with the defensive line, but. Maybe you invest that money in a Leonard Williams instead of J.J. Watt. Reverse flash. How can the Bengals upgrade their team through free agency in the draft? Give me your thoughts and who you think they will take. I think the best path for the Bengals is to attack the offensive line. line in free agency. Yep. They spent some money last offseason. I hope it is not a, oh, no, we did, we lost William Jackson and Carl Lawson offseason. Just pay those guys. Keep your good young players on your team. Correct. Find some more offensive linemen. Yep. And then at number five, if Panay Sewell is there, great, take him. If not, maybe you finally trade down for the first time in, in what I'm going to say years. Or maybe take a receiver or a different offensive lineman. What I think they should do, attack the offensive line, so that you can at least survive a season if you don't add anybody in the draft, but that if there's one there, you still take take and start them. Jonathan Cruz, you're next up here, and you got to get a pick, my dude. Should the Chargers trade for Orlando Brown? Um, I don't I don't think that the Ravens are going to trade Orlando Brown right now, so it's kind of a moot point. I actually think the Chargers should find a more full-time left tackle. Like, Brown works well as more of, of a big, strong, almost run blocker at points on that right side, although... They kind of moved him around this year. It was pretty crazy to see. Um, I think the Chargers might better serve just saving that first-round pick or whatever and spending it on offensive linemen in the NFL draft. So this is going to be the pinned comment on today's NFL mailbag. Name a player that you want your favorite team to trade for. So the very, very first comment that you're going to see on this video, it's actually going to have a tack right next to it. So go down, let us know a player that you want your team to trade for. This super chat is coming in from Mizell Hernandez. What do the Jets do at quarterback? It's not Sam Darnold. Yeah, I think you, we move, as, you trade we, Sam Darnold and look, Watson or whoever you want to pick it to. We need to stop trying to gaslight people on Sam Darnold and say, oh, no, he's good. When all available evidence says, no, he's not. He's not good. Move on from Darnold. Take a quarterback at number two. Trade it for Deshaun Watson. Whatever it is, Darnold's not the answer in New York. Super Chat coming in from Brandon Moore. Carson unhappy. All right, so Wentz is unhappy. Deshaun unhappy. Can Philly make this trade if – no. I don't know, like, no. what trade he's referring to. I assume he means, like, trading for for, for uh, Deshaun Watson for Carson Wentz. Like, no. you got to throw in all of the picks. Like, Carson <laughs> yes. Wentz is not, a, is not a positive asset right now with where he's at. Plus, the Eagles definitely want to make him work. So, both sides will end up saying no. As for Jamar Chase at six, yes. I like that pick if he's there for Philadelphia. 
Robbie, appreciate the super. When DK Metcalf gets his new contract, he'll most likely be the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Will the Seahawks have the cap to keep him and Adams? So DK Metcalf will be eligible for his first extension after next season. Yep. Now, I don't know if, if the, the cap will be up for that offseason, probably pretty significantly. I don't know if he's going to get DeAndre Hopkins 27 and change million per year. I think it might be more like Julio Jones 22 million per year. In the end, the answer is yes. You can structure that DK Metcalf and Jamal Adams contract to backload it. The players can still get paid now, but the cap hit can be pretty ascending. So, yes, they can find a way to pay DK Metcalf and pay Jamal Adams. Seattle doesn't actually have that many guys locked into a contract in that 2022 offseason. They'll be able to make it work if they so choose because the salary cap, ladies and gentlemen, is easily malleable and can easily find money to pay whatever one player you want. This one's coming in from Magma Penguin. Drew Locke and Juwan James for Jalen Hurts. I don't know. Understand no. the no. I I, I'm not letting you finish. No, this is bad. I, was gonna say, I, I don't understand I, the name. I, I love you guys. You you guys are the best best people out there. The very best of people. Drew Locke and a right tackle for Sam, a worst quarterback. Producer Sam I'm is out. Like this. No. <laughs> why Sam. why would Denver do that? No, I'm out. All right, let's go to Rick. What up, Rick? Who's the top target for the Dolphins if they keep their second? First rounder. So you're picking in that number 18 area. I'll throw maybe like a trade up or trade down a few spots to kind of balance it out. Five guys I put together here. Different positions so you can add different players in other positions too, right? Kadarius Tony, who I would love Jalen Waddle. I don't think he gets there to, to number 18. I think he's gone before that if he checks out, you know, healthy. Jeremiah Wusu koromo You can throw in a Zayvon Collins here too. I like that pit fit at linebacker. If you want to go with the running back, Najee Harris is there. I don't love it. I went with Elijah Vera Tucker over some other offensive linemen because he could play guard or tackle. And that gives you some flexibility too. Okay, well, maybe we keep, maybe put Austin Jackson at right tackle, Robert Hunt at, at guard, and then put Tucker at offensive tackle or keep Jackson at left tackle and Vera Tucker at left guard. No, look, we did the USC 2018 offensive line all over again. And then I threw in Gregory Russo as an edge rusher. I don't think it's that big of a need right now. Yep. But it's the local player, so it makes some sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's hear it. Who's the most underrated NFL draft prospect? So not your pet cat, okay? but maybe an underrated NFL draft prospect. If you don't know what pet cat means, Google it, because I know I had to last year. Richie Grant, Richie safety Grant. from UCF. UCF, okay. He's really good. So I've been watching some tape on Paris Ford, and I like Paris Ford. Is he underrated? I saw him in a mock draft going round five. Sounds about right for him. He's not that good. <laughs> okay. So I went with Paris Ford. Tom didn't like it. Richie Grant, safety from UCF. Most underrated NFL draft prospect. Let us know. So if you guys love the NFL, subscribe yes. for more off-season coverage. Off-season coverage around trades, draft rumors, free agency. We got you covered here. Hit that big red button that says subscribe and turn on your notifications. If you don't know how to turn on your notifications, it's literally the thing that looks like a bell. Click the bell and then click all. That way, as soon as we drop a video, it literally pops right up on your phone like you got a text message. And then guess what? We got you. That way you're not wondering what the heck's going on around the NFL. All right, Super Chat coming in from Andrew. Should the Dolphins sign Allen Robinson if they miss on Devontae Smith? Well, remember, the NFL draft takes place after NFL free Correct. agency. It's, it's the opposite of the NBA. So you will know if you <laughs> signed or didn't sign Allen Robinson before the draft. Yes. So it's not like, hey, well, if they miss on Devontae, go sign somebody. This, the, the, the good guys are gone at that point. Yep. So you got to make your decision early. If you sign Allen Robinson, great, you're not taking Devonta Smith at three. I would wonder if it makes more sense for Miami to draft someone Tua is very familiar with in Devonta Smith. Seemingly unconnected sus. Who would you rather have, Trevor Lawrence or Deshaun Watson? Do you want to go on three? Yep. All right. One, two, three, go. Watson. Deshaun. Yeah, good job. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't go. I know. I didn't, I didn't, three, I, two, one, go. And then I, then I said go. I, mean, I, I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be a great player, but I know Deshaun Watson's a great player, and – I would say he's the second-best quarterback under the age of 25 behind only Patrick Mahomes. Sure. That's very valuable. I mean, you could split hairs, but give me Deshaun Watson. I think taking the, the provenness of a top-flight quarterback. Is that a word? Yes. Uh, at least I'm going to make it one today. Makes a lot more sense than the mystery box. As good as I think that mystery box is, I think it's going to be great. I know what I already have is great. Not paradox. What position should the Packers improve? I'm looking cornerback, specifically cornerback number two, because Kevin King was bad. 
I like defensive tackle. Is there to pair someone with Kevin King? I doubt they're going to invest that much in linebacker. They got a free agent at center, but I think they have enough depth there to honestly survive. Wide receiver. And then wide receiver as well, because that's just an area that they got to take somebody else. There you go. So today's show is presented by Manscaped, and go ahead, support us. You can also support them for sponsoring today's show, because without them, well, we wouldn't be able to turn the lights on. So get the perfect package, 20% off and free shipping. What comes in the perfect package? And you get the Lawnmower 3.0, the best tool out there if you want to go ahead and get rid of some of those stubborn hairs down below, on your chest, underneath your arms. The best way to Manscaped. That's why mm. it's called Manscaped. Also, what comes with that? You get the most comfortable boxers that you'll ever put around your balls. You get the traveling case. If you plan on going anywhere, I'm telling you, you're going to want to take this. Ball toner. It's basically like a nice little spritz of refreshment yeah. on your downstairs. Ball deodorant. If you wear it underneath your arms, you should wear it on your balls Especially as well. Especially if you work out. Especially if you work out, which, Tom, you've been working out more, right? Sure. <laughs> Manscaped.com slash chat, 20% off and free shipping. If any guys that are watching this right now are like, wow, that stuff sounds really amazing, send this link, Manscaped.com slash chat, to your wife, girlfriend, or the, some chick that you just met on Tinder and say, you want to get me something special for Valentine's Day? Here you go, 20% off and free shipping. We got you covered. Super Chat coming in from Dale Webb Jr. I know he's got Manscaped. Do the Raiders draft a defensive end with pick 17 or trade down? All you. I am always team trade down. And actually, the more and more I look at a lot of the Raiders' needs, if you could get, let's say, two early second-round picks or a late first and an early second and get two more players that like on defense, I think a lot of the guys going in like 25 to 48 range. 17, sure, but I'll take two more players because the Raiders have a lot of 15 needs. 15 to 48 is all kind of similar prospects, especially at, at defensive end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even defensive tackle, safety. I mean, the Raiders, when you're as mm -hmm. bad as what they were defensively, they need it a lot on defense. <laughs> Let's go to Chris Freeman. Should the Broncos draft one of the top two corners in round one? So who? first off, who are the top two I, corners? I assume he means Caleb Farley out of Virginia Tech and Patrick Sertan out of Alabama. Uh, maybe maybe J.C. Horn is in there too, but I'm I pretty, like I'm Horn, pretty but sure it's the VT and, and, and the Bama product. I think that makes a lot of sense for Denver. Okay. I, I'm probably going to go defense in almost all of my mock drafts for them. I doubt they go the quarterback. Yep. The offensive line's in pretty decent shape. They spent a lot on receivers last year and the year before that in terms of draft capital. So I'm going defense. There's no safeties worth taking. Edgers aren't that great in theory. They keep Vaughn Miller. So at that point, I'm making a, I'm making a move, and, I'm, and I am going to look for a, a cornerback or a linebacker. Now, Patrick Sertan, I think, isn't the same caliber of athlete in terms of um, – Caleb Farley. Like, Farley's a top flight athlete with fantastic ball t skills. Sertan is a little bit of a uh, more technical prospect. They're both in play at number nine, so I would not have any issues with this pick, and I think Michael Parsons is a good fit in Denver, but I don't want to spend a top ten pick on an off-ball linebacker in almost all cases. So pick a cornerback prospect. Who's the top one in this year's draft? I'm going to agree with Tom. Caleb Farley or Patrick Sertan? Farley's my dude. I know. Caleb's not only been your dude this year, he was even your dude last year as well. So type CF for Farley, type PS for Patrick Sertan. If you think it's somebody else, hey, throw their name down in the comments as well. Got a super chat coming in from Chris. Jimmy G to the Pats, and what do they do with pick 15? Uh, if the Niners move on from Jimmy Garoppolo, I assume he ends up back in New England, so sure. At 15, insert best offensive playmaker. Got so, him. Jalen Waddle, Kyle Pitts, if Smith or Chase are there, great. If not, probably trade down and still take somebody. Cody Douglas, did you guys know if you want to trade for Watson, you are not a real Dolphin fan? Laugh out loud. <sighs> I guess I don't really know what that means. I know what it means. Cody's saying that Dolphins fans who want Deshaun Watson are being accused of not being real Dolphins fans. That's the dumbest thing Which I've ever heard. I, I, it happens, and I hate the, I disagree with you on an opinion topic, therefore you're not a real fan. That stuff annoys me because you don't get to decide fandom for other people. It's not like they're just hating on the team consistently or hating a player. It's they're trying to make the team better in the best way they think is possible. Correct. That's not not being a real fan. That's just having a different opinion. So, Cody, I agree with you. Thank you. Vernon Spades, Falcons draft the quarterback at four, trade back in the first for a defensive lineman, linebacker, or safety. I don't mind that idea. If you're going after one of those positions, especially defensive line or linebacker, don't take one at four. Yep. Trade down in the teens, and you can find somebody good. I don't know what your name is. Um, six -ish. <laughs> draft stock went up the most Ooh, after slash, the senior bowl. Slash, that's right. It's All right, slash. slash. All right, that's actually clever. Um, I, I think the, the biggest 
Two guys, I'll give you one you offense, made a video. one defense. I did a video, by the way. It's on the channel. It's just Senior Bowl winners and losers. I think defensively, Richie Grant out of Central Florida might have been, at least was one of the best defensive players down there at the Senior Bowl this week. And then Quinn Miners, who only got invited to the Senior Bowl because Landon Dickerson got hurt late in the season for Alabama. He was like one of the last players to get in, was viewed as like, he didn't play football this year because D3 guy out of Wisconsin, Whitewater. Didn't play football this year, was viewed as a late day three pick, shows up and was dominant, and might go top 75 now. He was by far the biggest winner. All right, we got Stephen. What up, man? What do you think about Fuller and a – wait, Fuller and 49ers? I, I don't think Will Fuller is, is, like, fits them. They have enough receivers right now. They, they need different guys in another vertical deep threat. Jacob McCarty, do the Seahawks trade for Gilmore? Do they have a chance at Quinn? That's Miners. Quinn Miners. That's, that's guy I just okay. mentioned. All right, go. Um, I don't think they're going to make a move for Gilmore. Maybe they throw their second-round pick at him. That could work. I don't know if that's the best move for them, but from a need-wise, it would be a huge addition. Like I get it from that perspective. For Quinn Miners, with the way his draft stock boomed, they might have to take him in round two. Wow. I don't think – well, they don't have a third-round pick. Sure. So I don't think he gets to them in round four. So if you want Quinn Miners because he was so good at the Senior Bowl – you might have to reach more than anyone would have thought like a week ago. All right, let's go to Nixon. Uh, Bears draft Mac Jones or Kyle Trask. If you got to pick between one of them, I'm going to go with Mac Jones. Yeah, Mac Jones easily. I don't think Kyle Trask is that great. He's going to stick around the NFL for a long time. I just don't think he's a starting caliber quarterback. 